Happy June 1st, everyone. My name is Shauna Cartledge, and I am the Senior Event Manager at Hearth Place Cancer Support Center. And you may be saying, uh, Shauna, it's June 1st, not July 1st. Why do you have all your Canada Day stuff out? Because I get to be the first to invite you to not attend our Canada Day barbecue non-event for Hearth Place. That doesn't make any sense. I'm inviting you not to attend something. What is a non-event? A non-event is a, a way for you to still support Durham Region's only cancer support center without leaving the comfort of your home. As we know right now, with our current pandemic, um, we're not joining together to celebrate together in large groups, but it doesn't mean we can't support people in need in our community. So, no worrying about packing up the car and wondering if you forgot anything and having to have everybody go back inside for bathroom breaks before you can leave. No wondering is the person who is at the barbecue going to burn everything to a hockey puck and it's gonna be hard to eat your burger. And no having to wait in a parking lot for an hour after fireworks ended just to try to get home. We invite you to stay home with your loved ones on Canada Day and help support Hearth Place Cancer Support Center. Starting today, June 1st through Canada Day, July 1st, we are running this fundraiser with the goal to raise $100,000 in one month. And we know that you can help us do this. To tell us a little bit more about what is Hearth Place and what's a cancer support center, I am inviting our executive director, Jeanette Berthelot, to join us. Hello, Jeanette. Hi, Shana. How are you today? I'm great, how are you? Good, it's great to have you with us. It's awesome to be here. So tell me just a little bit for those who don't know, what is a cancer support center? What does Hearth Place Cancer Support Center do? So like you mentioned, we're the only cancer support center in Durham region. We support anyone who's been impacted by a cancer diagnosis, including caregivers, children and teens, um, and the patient themselves. Um, anyone can come through uh, hearth place at any time uh, during their journey so whether they're in treatment or they've just finished treatment um, or if they've lost someone to treatment because we offer uh, grief and bereavement services as well okay so anywhere along the cancer journey we can help provide support all of that non-medical side of things and anyone affected so any of their loved ones correct absolutely so we know that there's a pan pandemic and a lot of things have been closed down hearth place has had to close its doors what has Hearth Place been able to do in the last couple months in order to continue providing support? Um, it's been amazing. We've been able to change our service delivery model. So we are offering telephone support um, to all of our members that way now. So we're doing individual counseling. We've also launched 14 programs uh, online, so via Zoom platform. So we have everything from yoga to meditation to uh, our support groups, our cancer-specific support groups, um, such as our breast group and our colorectal group and our pediatric group and our metastatic group. They're all meeting weekly or monthly. Our women's group and our men's group are still connecting with one another and able to support one another and receive the services that they so desperately need during this uncertain time. So that is amazing. So obviously, uh, even though our doors are closed, cancer hasn't stopped. Absolutely. COVID can't stop cancer and COVID can't stop Earth Place. That's right. So can COVID can't stop Hearth Place. We are still providing support to those who need it in the community, but we need your help because as an organization that does not rely on public funding, we don't receive any public funding. We rely heavily on our donors, our corporate and individual donors, and our fundraising events. And we've had to cancel all of our spring and summer fundraising events and uh, are unsure at the moment as to the status of our fall fundraising events. So this is really important to keep to that. It's 40 plus programs that we offer, is that correct? Absolutely. Yeah, and, and so 40 plus programs, we're trying to keep going, we're doing as much as we can virtually and by the phone right now until we can open those doors and see people in person again. But we need your help to keep this going. So help us raise $100,000 in one month. Yes, celebrating Canada Day starting today, June 1st through July 1st. You'll see the website posted with this link that it is hearthplace.org slash non-event. Um, and just go there and keep us going. And then on Canada Day, post your pictures with the hashtag Canada Day 
for HP, Canada Day for Hearts Place. We'd love to see how you're supporting us and celebrating Canada Day at the same time at home. Jeanette, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you to all of you, and we appreciate Thank your support. You. Happy Canada Day, everybody. Happy Canada Day.